the local Episcopal Church, I'm going to have the good Reverend tell about that in a second, has run some terrific events for Black History Month. And Mary, I want to tell you before we do introductions, the events you had, I believe it was two weeks ago, with and Chris, is that correct? Yes. And on the 400 brave men who left Queen Anne's County and fought for the United. One of the best things of 45 years I've gone to in Queen Anne's County. You guys did great, okay? Yes. I'm not going to switch yet, but I'm getting closer. Oh, okay. my goodness. <laughs> now, Mary, I apologize. Would you please, it's not, and I, make sure everyone knows Mary, Reverend Mary yes, Friel I'm, now. I'm Mary Friel. I'm the rector of St. Paul's Church here in Centerville. It's on Liberty Street. Our parking lot is on Commerce Street, so coming or going, you're going to pass us by. And um, delighted to be on. Thank, well, thank you so you much for, for having thank us. You. Thank you. I was on a few weeks ago talking about our Black History Month, which we're not going to just do through February. We have plans going through the rest of the year. Terrific. Which we'll, Terrific. Maybe I'll Good. come back on and talk about. You, it's, it's Fridays are open anytime, Thomas, and you know too, right? Yeah. And I'm very excited. And I have my friend here, Thomas Spirit, who is a wonderful friend of St. Paul's. Great. In the past, Great. he has done spiritual concerts and all sorts of wonderful concert. He sings like an angel. Oh, wow. I can't wait. And our concert is this is Sunday the 27th. Oh, the 27th. The 27th, 27th. At 4 o'clock. Right at, at the church. St. Paul's. Right at the church. Yes. Do we buy tickets? Maybe? No, it is free and open to the public. Just show up. Just show up. Okay. Yes. Well, and there will be a reception afterwards oh, wow. upstairs. And we're very excited. It's um, selections from Porgy and Bess. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll be great. Gershwin's yeah. great Great American opera. Everybody Perfect. loves Porgy and Bess. And Thomas has written a very special program that I'm going to ask him to, to talk oh, about. Oh, well, Thomas, He's thank sing you. a little. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you, first of all, for coming today. Tell us about this wonderful event you're having. Okay, so a couple of years ago, um, after um, touring um, as Porgy in uh, Australia. You were in Australia. My son was born in Australia. Oh, awesome. My wife's <laughs> Australian. She won't admit that she's married to me, but she's Australian too, yeah. <laughs> well, um, after that tour, I, I, when, we came, when I came back home, I started to think about ideas of, um, I've done other concerts, other recitals. Okay. And then I was like, maybe I should consider doing something about Porgy and Bess to make it a, make a more intimate connection with the audience and the singers, so I so, so I so, so I wrote the program, the highlights of Poor Game Best. Something you did? It's something I did. You did the highlights of Poor Game Best, and basically what it stems from is it's narrations um, to describe the actual opera, and then in between each section, in between, in, in, I'm sorry, should I say, in between each solo. There is um, narration to tell you what's happening. Almost like a, what Bruce Springsteen did on Broadway, right? He would sing a song and introduce the next song with a two to three minute story. Absolutely. Great, absolutely. Great. Very, very similar in that. Okay. I, I'm, I'm doing it this way so that people who go, a lot of people go to the opera, and the opera is so long. Most of the time, no one ever does the full opera. No. Oh, because the opera is over four hours mm -hmm. if you do the whole, the whole you know, 500 or oh, something sure, pages. Sure. So it's a lot of cuts here and there. But but at the same time, because it is a long opera, you kind of connect with it. But at the same time, there are many opportunities where people do not quite understand what's goes happening. Over a lot of our it kind of goes over yes. your head. You know, we have the Gullah dialect um, yes. um, and things of that nature. So sometimes, even though there, there are certain titles at the opera houses when we do it, it can still go over some people's heads trying to figure out what right. is actually going on. So the highlights of Porgy and Bess, it takes the most famous uh, duets and the most famous um, solos, the things that people like to sing in the car and with their families and such. It takes those and it breaks it down to what, it tells you what happens right before the solo to give you an idea oh, of why the solo comes. And, and then that way you have a better connection. If you so happen to have, to have seen the opera, you have a better connection as to say, okay, now I finally light get it. Start going light, off. A, a, a yes. light, okay, this is what happened. Okay. Because things move kind of quickly um, and throughout the opera as well. So it's kind of, culturally, it's not always connectable to everybody, to our audiences. Most of our audiences are predominantly Caucasian people sure, who sure. don't know very much about... A lot of about, things are just going over their head right Exactly. Now. Who, who don't know a whole lot about the nuances of, right. of Porgy and Bess as far as, you know, some of the prayer scenes and some of the um, uh, the gambling and things of that nature. They're not... Uh, and the, and the, the dialect as well. And so... This gives you a little bit more of an intimate understanding, right, and right. you can make a better connection with 
what is actually happening before your favorite Aria's. It's almost like <laughs> Porgy and Best for Dummies kind of, isn't it? I mean, you know, those well, the yellow books that come out, me being a dummy, okay? Right, right. Well, well, no, 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 you're not a dummy. I'm not, not right, you are a dummy. <laughs> but right in that, you know, I don't want to call anybody a dummy. I know, I know. you're nicer <laughs> but, than I am. But at the same time, it does kind of help you make a deeper connection with oh, the songs that most people have sang over and over and over again and have come to love over the years. Oh, great. So it gives you that kind of, a, oh, I kind of know a little bit more about why. So when you're singing these little ditties in the car, you have, now you have a little more a understanding little as to why, why uh, um, you have a little more of a connection to those little songs that you've loved so much, like Summertime and um, Boat That's Leaving Soon for New York and all those things Oh, you're like going to do that. Summertime and the Living is Easy? Oh, uh, the Summertime oh, and the Living. Oh, Lord. We have it. Awesome soprano, Michelle uh, Colber, she, who's also an attorney now. Oh, terrific. Uh, she, um, it, she was actually on tour for Porgy and Bess, really? and after the tour, she decided, I think I want to go to law school. Good for so her. So she goes to law school. Why not? Passes the Why bar not? the first time and starts practicing. And then one of her first cases, she starts. Uh, she's one of the litigators on the, the, the biggest case um, um, ever, the Gulf oil spill. Really? Oh <laughs> okay. <Wow>. So, <laughs> Welcome so, to the big league. So right? she's making black history even even after the fact. Well, she's doing so, terrific. So, so Michelle Gutcher is the soprano who is singing. Um, um, it's going to be four singers. Okay. Michelle Gutcher is going to be the soprano. I'm going to be the baritone. We have a mezzo who is phenomenal, Johanna Charlton, who is a Metropolitan Opera singer, Metropolitan Opera chorister, and Larry Hilton, who is also a Metropolitan Opera. Um, are these singer. people, that, I'm sorry for my ignorance, are these local people or is this, are we, are we stealing people from D.C., New York? I mean, what these what the other people are doing is okay. fantastic. Okay, yeah. so they are somewhat local okay. now, kind of like me. We're, we're transplants uh, to the area. That's right. Michelle is the only one I believe that actually was born either in D.C. Oh, okay. or just outside of okay. D.C. somewhere, Southern Maryland or something of that nature. But the rest of us are, have, we've met, singing places okay, and we, we know each other from all the places that we've sung over the years and I think I met Larry uh, probably was overseas somewhere doing a poor game best and and um, and then we Michelle you've Larry traveled, myself, well, you've mentioned Australia where else have you done poor game best oh my goodness uh, we'll be here a while it's, well, throw it's, me a couple quick names um uh, were Europe at all Australia? yes yeah, Germany you, Hanover German. I mean I mean Italy I mean, Spain. I mean, it's, I, it, it goes Sarah, on you France. You brought us a major leaguer here today. <laughs> of course I did. Fred, this is well. a big show. It's, I'm not yeah, going to just break I mean, I'm saying other operas in these countries, but okay. Porgy and Best tends to do a tour. Um, and so they tend to go all over Europe or all over um, Australia and New Zealand and those places as well. And I, luckily, I've been able to be a part of those tours a couple of times. We're going to have you on a show again just to talk about those experiences. That must be amazing. But that's, that's concentrating on the show coming up. <laughs> right, right. I mean, you've had a great life. So, What's, give me some more songs, okay? Uh, Summertime and the Living is Easy. Every, come on, everyone's heard that song. Like you say, probably singing it in the shower. What, can you mention some other songs we're singing or you're singing? Absolutely. Um, we are doing, because it's only four people in the, in right, the concert, right. we are all doing multiple roles, so to speak. So to speak about the actual recital that you all are going to see on the 27th, mm -hmm. it will be semi-staged, so you will see a little bit of staging happening. Okay. So what, okay. we're not just going to, a lot of highlights in Porgy and Bess, they just kind of introduce, go stand up there, sing their aria, leave, right. that type of thing, or their duet. Um, but we we'll, there will be some semi-stage. It won't be as intimate as it usually is due to the days and times that we're living in now with the, with the pandemic. The COVID. COVID with, yes. Exactly. So because of that, um, it may not be quite as intimate as we normally would do um, if it were a different time. Uh, what, what we have done before, I should say. Um, songs Shall that yeah. you would know and love. All, uh, of course, um, Summertime. Oh, great, great. Best You Is My Woman Now, the famous duet. Yes, yes. Best You Is My Woman yes. Now. And... Um, uh, the boat that's leaving soon for New York. All right. My man's gone now. Okay. Of course, Porgy's people's favorite opera aria that Porgy does. Um, I've got plenty of nothing. Oh, great! <laughs> I got plenty of nothing. Right. Everyone I always took, everyone loves that 
Aria. Oh, cool. And um, I like to make people happy with the Aria. But vocally, I'm going to be honest with you, it ne doesn't necessarily do very much for Porgy vocally. Okay. There's many other things <laughs> going on in the, in the opera that do a lot more for Porgy vocally, meaning uh, it's a little more singy and fun to sing. P um, I should say fun to sing. Playing nothing is, fin is fun to sing. And it's, and it's fun to perform. Right. Um, there are other things that show off Porgy's voice a little bit better. Um, Sounds like it's going to be a fantastic Sunday. Right. Right? I, I'm, we're already booked in. No football to compete with. No one cares That's about one basketball the, yes. yet. Yeah. No <laughs> baseball. They're striking. So we're going to be at the Episcopal Church, right? Yes. And as a, a progressive denomination, I have to say one of my favorites is it ain't necessarily so. Oh, that, you're going to do that too? It ain't necessarily so it would be done as well. Can you give us a short sample or anything you're comfortable with, something you might be singing? If you don't want to, you don't have to. Oh, um, you know, it's kind of early, and no, no, you us to. bigger voices don't do too much in the morning. Oh, of course, of course. Trying to get don't, warmed don't up or whatever. You have to sing like but, I do. Um, in the shower in the morning, my wife turns the radio as loud as she can, and neighbors <laughs> leave, so I didn't mean to put you on the spot. We'll be there Sunday. To oh, do that, uh, okay? we, we, yes, please be there Sunday um, to join me. It, it ain't necessarily so as one of the... Famous oh, selections yes, yes. that um, that you said it really is <laughs> not very friendly to religion, right. so to speak. But uh, people enjoy it because it's a it's a true take on what a lot of, what a lot of people think feel in their hearts feel yes. here and there. Yeah, so, be, um, Mary, let's do this in Thomas. Now we're doing so the public knows we're limit. Normally, I have Mary on here for two or three hours and we talk about everything, but we're just going to be fifteen minutes. Cause I want Thomas and to get out to you that what's going on. So Mary, let's do this. We got about well, four and a half minutes. We're not gonna rush. Remind everybody when, where, and how. Okay. It is Sunday the 27th at four o'clock at St. Paul's Church. Because we are having a reception afterward, we're asking that people call and make a reservation at 410-758-1553. And everybody is welcome, bring a friend, and we're very, very excited oh, so about we, it. Now, do we wear masks? Let me ask you that. Um, no. No, don't they have, have to wear just, masks. Uh, the, the bishop has just released Taking that. Taken that away. That, yeah. okay. So we they are optional good. for people who feel more comfortable with them. And Thomas, you're telling us, for people like me who love music, sing poorly but love music, right? <laughs> it's going to be a real inside look into Porgy and Bess, kind yes. of explaining, hey, why are they singing this song? What you might, Mary, I don't know if you saw the show I did uh, uh, last week with Mrs. Ward. We had, are you familiar with the Kennard Cultural Center or Kennard High School? I am I know not. Mary is, but Thomas, it was the all black high school, all right, before we had uh, integration. And I always say Kennard. I taught it Kennard. That's absolutely wrong. You were talking about how very often some people don't understand what's really going on with Poor Gear Best for cultural reasons or social reasons. Well, she says, Mr. Manuel, all you white folks say Kennard. It's not Kennard, it's Ken. Hard. She chewed me out on air, thank goodness, and straightened it out. But we're, you're not going to chew anybody out, but you're certainly going to make some of the songs we love, some of the entertainment we love, a little more understanding and make a little more sense, right, Thomas? Oh, yeah, absolutely. How long will this be? Just if people like me are saying, hey, 4 o'clock, let me figure, how long are you going to... It will probably last somewhere around an hour. Oh, easy. That yeah, hour is it's nothing. not going to be drawn out. You're not going to be like, oh, God, I'm ready to go home. We want to okay. keep it moving. And But the singers, oh, my goodness, you, the singers are unbelievable. You've got top-notch singers, right? I have top-notch top -notch. singers. Hi, Mary, how did you get these guys? And guys? Because, of, because of Thomas. Oh, right. Well, Thomas, thank you as a community. He's come to St. Paul's before, and okay. um, our director of music, music. Julia and I talked and I said I'd like to finish our sort of February with, with something with Thomas Beard. Terrific. Thomas is very, very well known okay. in, in opera cir circles. Yes. Well, Thomas, thank you for, like I say, uh, Mary knows I always thank her for it, but thank you for being kind enough to come on to little old QA TV 7, all right? And we're going to get everybody, all right? Now, everyone out there, you don't have NFL football done. Basketball doesn't get serious to March, okay? March Madness, right? But you have a chance to learn about Porgy and Bess, which is a cultural institution in our society, I think. I know how you feel, Thomas. And you're going to hear from top-notch people who've sang in top-notch places, right? right? This isn't Fred and the Black Knight singing outside your house and you're throwing tomatoes at. This is world-class performers coming in, thanks to the Episcopal Church. Okay, Mary, should we add anything? No, that's it. Just please come, please bring someone. We're very excited about it.
Okay. And so yeah. blessed to have Thomas. And Thomas, yes, I can't wait. Uh, Mary, Mary knows I always stand in the back, and uh, I can't wait to see it. Now, one more time. The 27th at 4 o'clock at St. Paul's, and, and there is plenty of parking. And we should call yes, ahead with Yes, call the so that we have enough for the reception as well. 410-758-1553. If you forget that, you can just Google St. Paul's, look on Facebook, and get our telephone number. Thomas, anything you want to add? I want to do a quick shout out to her music please, director, please. Julia Meyer. Um, okay. um, 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 Miles Morris Myers. Morris Myers. Yeah. Um, she's an amazing lady, an amazing accompanist. I, I, I met her years ago at another uh, gig that I was doing, and that's how she and I connected. And she is just unbelievable. And I want to give her a quick shout out. And well, thank you. For thank you, um, Julia. She's not with us today because she's at the symphony in Washington. So oh, she, she wins. She trusted wins. me to, to, to take care of you, make Which sure you good. got here. Well, Mary, Thomas, thanks for both of you. I hope you had, you had a Thank nice, you, Fred. you had a great crowd at the event with Chris. We did. A we had ago. standing room only it was at the Kennard School. I was standing in the back. You did yeah. great. Well, standing good. room only, and we had a really good turnout Sunday morning for our our service of Holy Communion As a and communion, um, yeah. our special sermon, which was about. Um, the connections between slavery and our own particular church and how the Whoa. church was divided. Okay. And, and, and as a um, member of this committee, I want to thank you for doing this. All right? Well, it's, great. it's important. It needs to be done. Well, thank you. We, we look need at, to look at our history. We're going to see you there, okay? And I want everybody out there, come on, you're not doing anything Sunday in the February, all right? I'm Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV 7. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time at the Reverend's Church with Porgy and Bess. <laughs> <laughs>